Oh, what's going on guys, Zach Grax here and welcome to the final week of the regular season of the Elysian Draft League Season 5. Today we jump into our Week 9 game against Zach. And uh, this is a pretty special game because it's the final game, of course, of the regular season. We did not make playoffs because we have a record of 3 wins and 5 losses. So not a great uh, season for us, you know, it's, it's been pretty shitty. Uh, I haven't played too well. However, Zach is undefeated, he's 8-0, which means if we were to win this game, we would be the only person to beat Zach in the regular season. So I think if we win, we won't go 5-5 five and five. we won't obviously tie it. But I think going 4-5 and five with the only person to beat Zach, I think that'd be pretty sweet. And last week we played Zillix. I didn't upload that video because I actually didn't record it. I was just playing it because we have to. You know the way. Uh, we're in a league. I'm not going to drop out because I'm losing, of course, because that's fucking stupid. I'm going to play out the games. And we, we actually won. We beat Zillix 3-0. And I believe we lost 2-0 to Erasmus the week before. And that actually, that battle I did upload. The only reason I uploaded the Erasmus one is because if we won that game and beat Zillix and beat Zach, there was a chance we qualified. But because we lost to Erasmus, there was no point. There, The Zillix game didn't matter for me. It mattered for Zillix because if he won, then he still might have had a slight chance if Erasmus lost the last two games. But we beat Zillix. So the only reason I'm recording this one is because it's the final game of the season. I owe it to Zach to record it because Zach is a fantastic battler. No offense to Zillix, of course. I mean, th that was a great game. Definitely go out and check it. Uh, I'm sure he might <clears throat> he might actually have it on his channel. So go check out Zillix's video uh, on that if you want to watch that. But um, I'm doing it because uh, this is the final week. And I haven't uploaded a lot of these games because I've been very, very unmotivated to upload this league. Because we haven't done too well. And I, I'm going to be honest, I don't want to upload games where I played shit. You know, I, I'm, I uploaded the Erasmus one because we did actually play decently well. We still lost, but we played well. The battle against Infinite. Did that even go up? I don't even know if that one went up. I can't remember at this point. So, there we go. So, uh, Zach's team. I don't even have Zach's team up. I'm such a fucking idiot. Uh, he, his team consists of Tapabulu. Um... Tapabulu, Suicune, Heatran, Fortress, Passimian, Miltank, Mega Absol, Alakazam, Zygarde, Golbat, and Raichu. I think that's all the 11. Uh, and Zygarde, 10%. I, I think I said that. Um, that's his team. Um, so I'll run through it very, very quickly. We're bringing a very, very offensive team because I've learned that that's the only way to use this team effectively. And uh, there's two mons in particular that's very, very important because I realized how to use this team last week when I played Zilix. Uh, we have Tapu Koko, Zaplate, Electro Surge, Wild Charge, U-Turn, Brave Burn, Dazzling Gleam. Very, very offensive. Could take on the Zyger. Actually, yeah, we're gonna change this in by rice. This thing could take on the Zyger. One shot the Zyger. Uh, it can take on um, the Suicun. Take on the Mega Absol. It could take on the uh, Golbat. It could take on uh, Bulu even with Brave Bird. It's just a good man against his team, and uh, I think it'll be uh, really, really good for us. Um, we're running Zaplay just to get a little extra power on Wild Charge because I'm most notably. That's the move I'm going to most notably be clicking, basically. We have Suplex, D Choice, Bandit, Heracross, Close Combat, Mega Horn, Knockoff, and Stone Edge. Enough speed there to be a Max Speed, Adamant, Bulu. Um, close Combat, Mega Horn, that combo wrecks his team. He doesn't have a Fighting Resist on his team except for uh, Golbat, uh, you know, uh, and, and Bulu. Bulu. But Bulu uh, doesn't resist Mega Horn, so that's the thing. Uh, Crobat is the only thing on his team to resist Close Combat and Mega Horn, which is why Knockoff and Stone Edge is there. I can click Knock Off and get rid of its Evil Light, or I can click Stone Edge and try to do massive damage to it, depending on how low it is. Uh, the reason we're running Guts and not Moxie is because, re realistically, Heracross is not going to sweep him. And I can swap in a Suicune with this set now, which is really nice. And Heracross does put on a, a lot of pressure on that uh, Suicune. And basically, I mean, Heracross is just great against his team. It also bops the Mill Tank, which is important. Um, however, it does get outsped by Mega Absol in one shot with Player Off or even Fire Blast. Uh, it does get outsped by Alakazam, destroy it, and it goes, does get outsped by Zygarde. So this mon is most notably just there to kill those defensive mons, the, the Heatran, the Suicune, and the Bulu. Uh, next we have Frostbite, the Weavile. Weavile is there to clean up the other three mons, the Mega Absol, the Alakazam, the Zygarde. It can take on the Zygarde and the Alakazam, no problem. Um, but uh, obviously the Mega Absol is a little bit more tricky because I can't exactly one-shot it. Ice and Crash will do a, a ton. Oh, we're choice banner, never mind. Actually, I'm bringing two choice banner mons. I'm such a dope. But we have Weavile. Weavile is just here as another uh, crazy, crazy offensive man. It's just there to do a lot of damage. Um, low Kick is there for the Heatran and the Mill Tank. And Knock Off and Ice Crash are there for Stab. Ice Shard is there in case the Zygarde gets up a few Dragon Dances or just to kill it in general. Um, and unfortunately, E Speed will outspeed my Weavile, but if I'm high enough health, I should be able to take it. Uh, and if he's Choice Bandit, if he's not locked in an E Stream Speed, we're completely safe. So. 
And I expect a, I do expect a choice bandit set because my team is quite weak to Zygarde, but I still have Weavile with Ice Shared, so we'll see. And next we have Avicide, the Salazzle, Focus Dash, Corrosion with Fire Blast, Sludge Wave, Hidden Power, Ground, and Taunt. This is my lead. I'm going to lead with Salazzle. I'm going to click Taunt against his team. And whatever he leads with, if he leads with Heatran, I click Hidden Power, Ground twice, or maybe even Taunt first, so he can't get up rocks. Depending on what I want to do. Uh, if he leads with uh, Suicune, uh, we're just going to Sludge Wave and whatever, get off a bit of damage, do their thing. If he leads with Bulu, I'm just going to click Fire Blast. If he leads with Miltank, I'm going to click Taunt and then Fire Blast. Or actually, I'm going to click Sludge Wave against Miltank. Um, Salazzle doesn't really have to. Um, die, I can taunt something, come down and Vile Focus Sash, and then swap out if I want to, but it is my lead to stop rocks getting up because I, I do have a rapid spinner, so this doesn't ne necessarily have to be my lead, but it more than likely will be to stop the Fortress, uh, and it's just a, a nice counter to that, um, so yeah. Next we have Jelly, the Gudra, Choice Specs, so we're bringing a lot of heat, we're bringing uh, two Choice Bandit Mons and one Choice Specs Mon, this is just... Draco's is really, really free against his team besides the uh, Bulu, which obviously uh, gets destroyed by Flamethrower. Um, and his only other Draco resist are Fortress, which doesn't take it well at all, and Heatran, which gets buffed by Focus Blast if I you know, choose to use it. And we have uh, enough speed to speed a uh, very, very little speed speaking. And finally, we have Beyblade, the Assault Vest, Clay Doll, uh, Rapid Spin, Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Psychic. This is just meant to wall a few things. It can take on the Zygarde, it can swap in, it can maybe eat a hit, and then Ice Beam. Uh, if we do live too, which I doubt we will. If he's Choice Banner, we will not live. But if he's maybe, like, say, Yachi Berry with set up Dragon Dance, he'll go for a thousand arrows after he Dragon Dances. We'll live it, we'll click Ice Beam and kill him. Um, and the same goes for... Um, what is it called? The same goes for Miltank, I guess, because we be able to take on the Miltank uh, very well. Psychic is there really just for the Passimian and also the Gold Bat. Ice Beam is there for the Zygarde. Um... And the reason we're Assault Vest is so that we can take on the uh, Alakazam better, because Alakazam is a threat that I don't really have a lot of answers to. I have Ice Shared, which is cool, but I don't really have great ways of breaking its Sash, and I don't have a lot of Mons that can take a hit from it, so I really just have Weavile and Tapu Koko that I'd speed it and can break its Sash. Um, so I just have to be a little bit careful around um, Alakazam, but Claydol does fix this problem up, because I can actually I can break its uh, Focus Sash with a Rapid Spin, which is nice. So that's the team. Uh, very, very offensive. Extremely offensive. I think every team, uh, every mod on the team is built to take on something. I don't really expect them to bring Bulu. Um, not because I have a Mega Aerodactyl in the back, and I think it just doesn't really do much against my team. I think the Suicune will come because it's good against my team other than the Tapu Koko. And I think he'll bring it, or uh, what's it called? I think he'll build his whole team around stopping the Koko from destroying Suicune. So that's basically what I expect. But other than that, uh, I'm just here to have fun guys, I'm not going to think about it too much. Uh, last week against Zilix, I just kind of said fuck it and click moves and we won. So I learned that with this team, the, play to, the, may, the way to play is make ballsy plays, click close combat with Heracross a lot and hope for the best. So we're going to jump into the game and uh, Zach, good luck my friend. Alright, so we see his team. Um, uh, His Mega Absolute's already Mega. So you see right here, he has a uh, Miltank, Tapu Bulu, the Simeon, stuff like that. So he didn't bring Golbat, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we'll just uh, wait. I'll just re-challenge him there. Um, as he changes his Mega Absol to be regular Absol, that will Mega Evolve. So um, he did. He did bring the Bulu actually, which I'm a little bit surprised about. But my team doesn't really struggle with it. If it's Choice Scarf, Gudra is Sap Zipper as well, so we can't just spam Wood Hammer. Uh, by any means, um, and I'm just gonna play offensive this game. That's what I have to do to win. Um, if that's an offensive Heatran as well, uh, Gudra will be able to take it on somewhat. So that's that. And he has Passimian in the back as well, which is fine. So cool. Claydol can take that on. I don't have a lot of switch-ins for Mega Absol, but um, that's kind of just it, really. Um, I I mean I could have brought like Aerodactyl. Or Empoleon, but I just want to play offensive. I'm just, I'm, I'm just here to have fun, guys. Um, so, uh, leads on my end, I think he's going to lead with either the... Uh, I think he's going to lead with the Passimian, uh, or the Miltank, or the Bulu. I think I'm just going to lead with Heracross and click close combat. He doesn't have a uh, a Mon that, has, that resists close combat and Megahorn, so switching in Bulu is a little bit scary after I click Megahorn. Uh, and I think he's going to leave with the Passimian. And Passimian really shouldn't be able to hit Heracross at all. And I don't really want to deal with it. So I think I'm just going to leave with Heracross. 
He does leave with the first immune. That's great. So right here, uh, we're just gonna click. We're just gonna click close combat. I think uh, we want to speed this thing of unless he's not max speed, which I'd be shocked if he wasn't. And I think he doesn't really. I mean, a switch into this thing is is Suicune. It is Suicune. So, I mean, Mega Horn is pretty safe as well. But he could just stay in. So I'm gonna click close combat. He does withdraw and he does go into the Water Doge, the Suicune. So we'll get off a of close combat here, and that does a crap ton of damage. That does a lot of damage. And um, I'm just going to check this right now. I don't think that's defensive. So he could be... I'm worried that this thing might be uh, speedy. I actually didn't calc at all. I'm, I want you guys to know I didn't calc for this game at all. Uh, so how much did we do? We did 57. No, he has some bulk. If he is, if he's like weird, like max defense, max speed, can he live? I mean, does he take that? We did 57. Come on, put in the B. Thank you. No, so I think he does actually have some. Uh, see, yeah, okay. So right here, he could be uh, speedy, but I'm just gonna click close, click close combat. He does withdraw. He does go and attack Bulu. So this thing is gonna take a close combat. It's gonna do a lot of damage. And uh, I definitely do not want to sack this thing off. I want this thing to be alive as long as possible. Um, so, Tapu Bulu, it could just kind of do whatever it wants. Uh, I think he'll just click Dazzling Gleam right here. So I think I'm going to go on a Salazzle. Salazzle isn't crazy important. It was just kind of a mon that was there. And he can't go back into Suicune because he can't take two Sludge Waves. So I think I'm going to go on a Salazzle. And worst case scenario, if he does click... Uh, Zen head what we take it to the focus ash so I'm gonna do that goes for nature's madness that's completely fine and um, and uh, um, he we see nature's madness he's definitely not scarf uh, well I mean he might but I, I, I doubt he's scarf nature's madness uh, right here I think I'm just going to his switch into this thing is what I'm gonna click sludge wave and the reason being is because I want to click hidden power ground I could also double he's going into heatron so that's little dies I really don't care but killing this Bulu would be really really nice but also getting heat the damage on the heatron would be really really nice as well he could also swap into the uh, the mill tank. Yeah, I'm gonna click Sludge Wave. I think I doubt he'd go on a Heatran. He does go on a fucking Heatran. Jesus Christ! All right, so unfortunate. Uh, right here, uh, I'm just going to go for Taunt. We do add speed, so he's not Scarf. He just goes for Stealth Rock. That's really awesome for us. I think I'm just gonna click Hidden Power Ground. Uh, if he wants to kill me with Earth Power, that's completely fine. Uh, now that we see the hair cross, he doesn't have a switch in the hair cross anymore. He does not have a switch in the hair cross at all. He doesn't have one. So I'm gonna click hidden power ground on this thing. Um, um, I mean, I mean, I guess I don't have to sack this thing off exactly. I could swap in a Gudra. By swapping a Gudra, I'm thinking. there's no point in sacking this thing. There's no point in sacking Salazzle because it is good ish <laughs> against his team and I think the uh, the, the simian it might be good to keep around as a fighting resist because you never know so do I go on a clay doll or do I go on a gudra I think I go into because gudra is way more offensive of course uh, I think he's just gonna click earth power uh, or flash cannon I think he's probably just gonna click flash cannon yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this thing go down I'm clicking bare ground Eats a Shocker Berry, that's fine. And he goes for Earth Power and he takes out my Salazzle. That is completely okay. Um, and we see Grassy Terrain. Now, now this is important. Because speed is a kind of a weird thing. Because you never know. Actually, no, we're just not running anything. If he has a Heatran. Oh, you bulky, let's say. Because that's. Hidden Bar Ground would have done that much if he's Shocker Berry. How much did it do? Did 
So, what are the chances that he's not? It's a 25. I think it's very, very unlikely. Um, I think it's very, very unlikely he's max speed. So I should go in a hair cross. I should go in a hair cross. Uh, I could also go in a Weavile, but Weavile's also banded, so I can't exactly go into that. Uh, well, let's just check something, so. Uh, Weavile, if you are Life Orb, let's just calc Life Orb, doesn't really matter. Um, well, no, we won't, we will we'll calc our set, but I'm just thinking. Rejoice Band absolutely 100% kills. Suicune, can you 2 it KO a Suicune? With a Life Orb low kick. 25. Uh, there's a, it's a roll. It's a roll, basically. Uh, and I think I'm going to take that chance. I'm going to go on Weevil. Uh, does Knockoff kill? Uh, not Suicune. Does it kill Heatran? Absolutely not. That's an offensive set as well. Uh, so I think we're just going to click low kick. Uh, I don't think there's any reason really to predict. If he goes on a Suicune, it's fine. If he goes on a Bulu, he won't go on a Bulu because he doesn't know what we are. He's just going to let this thing die. There's there's no way he does anything else. He could swap into a Simeon. But I'm not too worried about that. I mean, he just clicks U-turn. I think. So I'm just going to go for a low kick right here. I'm not going to think about it too much. I could click knockoff, but uh, he does go on a with the milk, the milk tank. And that does uh, less than I would hope. Uh, do I go straight in a Heracross? I don't think so. I think I go on a Gudra because I think he's going to either put up rocks or I think he's going to like fire punch or something. So I'm going to go on a Gudra. And I could see him predicting Heracross and doubling out into maybe, uh, I don't know, the... the uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go on a Gudra uh, because I think that's the right play. Well, Heracross does gain me the most momentum, and I will take one hit and basically kill something because, yeah. Could also click low kick again. Could absolutely do that again. I could click it again. There's no problem with me doing that. Because uh, Gudra has a problem where it, because he has Bulu and Heatran, it has difficulties spamming Draco. Uh, and it does no move that hits both of them. Which is probably poor prep on my part, but I, what would I bring? I, I don't know. Um, I think... <laughs> he might even... S nah, he wouldn't swap. I'm going to go on a Gudra. Let's see what it does. I think it's click Fire Punch. It does click Milk Chunk, so. Uh, now, right here, I think I'm going to click Focus Blast. Now, reason being is because I think either the Heatran or the Bulu will come in, and at least I'll hit the Bulu. But also double in a Heracross, because I think right here... I could also do that, yeah. If he powers me with Body Slam, like, let's say worst case scenario... We at least we get guts, so I'm gonna do that. Nice. Like I said, I don't think that this thing is speedy, so I mean I've fucking asked for it now. If he kills me, it's a whatever. It's whatever. If he kills me, it is what it is. I can't be too upset about it. But uh, right here, we should be able to get a kill. Uh, something should die. I don't know how speed. Like if he's if he's max speed, if he's somewhat speedy. Actually, well, we we've kind of figured out he can't be basically. He can't be speedy. Because we only we didn't do enough with hidden power ground on Salazzle um, for him to be the set. So I, I, I yeah I think we're pick up a kill right here. And if he doubles into Bulu, like I said, I think he does die to two, and I think we outspeed him because we are creeping an adamant Bulu. Like you don't run Jolly Bulu, especially against my team. So I think we should be able to get up a kill. Maybe we should have done it earlier, but. Uh, he does go on a Suicune, so this thing's gonna die, which is really, really nice. Uh, that's a huge problem for uh, Weavile to get past, so that's great for us. That's really, really good for us. Um, so right here, he probably goes into the uh, Absol. Uh, he knows we're not Choice Scarf, because of course, you know, we've done so much. And he's left. 
So we'll just be right back. I'm sure he's just gets connected for a second. So uh, we'll be just a second. All right, we're back. All right, so that was just a second in here. Um, so okay, we'll see what happens here. I think the Bulu actually, actually the Bulu can't come in. What am I saying? Well, actually, no, he could go on a Bulu. He can go on a Bulu because he saw the Bulu can take one close combat from the range it's at, and he can kill me. Um, like I said, my switch-ins for uh, my switch-ins for Bulu are limited, so. I mean, maybe we will, but I think more than likely we will see the Absol. It, it gains him the most momentum. And I think I'll... I mean, I might go straight into Coco. I mean, I might have to. He does go into Absol. So, we need to sack a Mon here, basically. Uh, Gudra could be the Mon. Definitely not Claydol. Well, maybe, actually. Maybe Claydol. I don't think there's any reason to sack... Or for, for Claydol to actually be around. I think that Coco is... What does he do? He clicks. Play rough. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Play-Doh. There's no reason to keep Play-Doh around. He just clicks play rough. And, and if I swap into Coco, he'll two-hit KO on me. Or, well, it'll do so much. So, actually, I can double here. Can I not? I'll at least take a player off of Coco. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. That was that was pretty good. I, I, yeah, the the player off is the only move that Absol would really get to hit Heracross on the physical side. And Fire Blast is, I mean, it's something, but you know, I I have a Gudra, so he might, you know, fear me just swapping into that. So we're gonna double back into Coco. If he predicts that and goes for another player off, good play. But it doesn't kill me, so I'm okay with that. Well, actually, it would put me around to Sucker Punch, I think, but. Uh, I think then we swap in a Weaver. <laughs> We're just switching all over the place. Um, but I think right here, he'll just click Knock Off because... Yeah. If he clicks Player Off again, I mean, I can't be too upset about it. But, um... And, I mean, he... Might swap in a Bulu, trying to gain momentum. I mean, A, he wouldn't swap in a Bissimian. He might if he knows that the Psychic isn't coming, which he does, because he has an Absol in front of him. Or, I have an Absol in front of me, so he, he could go on a Pissimian. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go on a Coco anyway. Clicks player off, that's fine. We'll live it. Actually, let me just not assume. <laughs> let me actually calculate, because I, I, I mean, it won't kill me. I know that. I do know that. But, the question is how much. Play rough does nothing. Play rough. Play rough. Uh, I'm still out of range of Sucker Punch, and that's a jolly set. You'd probably be adamant. I'm still out of range. I'm still guaranteed out of range. So I'm going to type of Coco. He does double out. He does go on a Bulu, so that's great. And we actually get the electric terrain up because we're slower. That's fucking awesome. Uh, I believe the Brave Bird will kill this thing. I think the Heatran's coming in, but... If I click U-turn, and he stays in, what do I do? I go on a Gudra. If I U-turn and he goes to Heatran, he, he leaves again. <laughs> we'll wait for him to get back. Uh, this actually gives us time to think about our play. So if I click U-turn, right, and he stays in, I will feel like a dum-dum. However, we're still not in a horrible position. Um... To be honest, I think... I mean, he knows that his Heatran doesn't die to me. He didn't bring Zygarde, actually, which I'm very shocked about. Um, he knows that his Heatran can't be killed by my Coco, basically. And he knows if he click, if I click him power ground, like, I can't because there's a Tapu Bulu in front of me. So I think Heatran is, is actually, like, his definite switch. Uh, actually, the question is, does a defensive Heatran... Where's that place? No, 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 no. We are naive. And we have Zap Light. We might barely be able to kill. We'll find out though. If you have a wild charge. And you have brave. Brave Void. 
brave boy. Um, not to Absol, to Heatra. And he's, uh, yeah, something like that, let's say. Uh, we do 30, 60, 69 min. I don't think... Yeah, we wouldn't kill him with a Brave Bird plus Wild Charge. We would not. And that's more offensive. So, it's very close, but he has leftovers, which is why I'm saying that. Um, and rocks aren't up, because I don't have them. I think I am going to click... How much does... If I click Brave Bird, right? And he stays in, I kill the Bulu. Which, to be honest, isn't actually that big a deal. So I do kind of want it. Because Heatran is really, really... Now I'm going to U-turn. We'll get damage off on this Bulu. <laughs> uh, dude, his, his internet's really messing with him. Uh, dude, I'm sorry your internet's fucking with you. Um, how much does Tapu Bulu... Your choice bandit set. How much would wild charge do? Thirty percent. It's not really about. U turn does about the same as wild charge, a little bit less. I'm just gonna click U turn, dude. Um. I feel like he'll sack this thing though. There's no reason for him to keep it. That's why I want to click Brave Bird. I want to call his but if he swaps in a heatran, it's fine. I just go on a I just go on a play doll. Yes. All right. Didn't fuck that one up, lads. Can we get a fuck yeah, Gronix in the fucking comment section? All right. So we killed the Bula. That's good. Uh, that was a big pain for uh, clay doll. So now his only way to kill clay doll really is the Absol, which is still a huge, huge problem. Um, but to be honest, I might just sack my Coco here because. I don't really need it anymore. Oh, no, actually, no, actually, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. Never fucking mind. It does take on the Absol, and it does resist Sucker Punch, so fuck that. We're definitely keeping uh, that top of Coco no matter what. I think Gudra might actually be the one we sack, because because Heatran gets dealt by the Clay Doll. We just need to get Heracross back in. In comes the Passimian. Uh, who will definitely, he, well, so he's basically calling my bluff right here, uh, whether I'm Choice Scarf or not. If he's Choice Scarf, he'll click Poison Jab. I believe he gets Poison Jab. Um, uh, he gets U-Turn, Rock Slide, Iron Head, Close Combat. He can't really touch me, and... But I don't want to. I don't want to let just just let something die. I think Heracross is a kind of good switch. Um. <laughs> he could be calling my bluff because he swapped out against Heracross earlier, which leads me to believe that he's fearing a scare of Heracross. So, how bulky is this thing? It's not too bulky. Actually, it's decently bulky. Um, he just clicks Earthquake. Or U-Turn. So, I think I just go on a Gudra. If he clicks... He won't click Close Combat. He can't click Close Combat. I don't think he'll click Close Combat. That does a lot of damage. Uh, so right here we'll find out if he's uh, Scarf or not. I think I'm just going to click Focus Blast because all of his switch-ins... Uh, well, I could... Uh, if he clicks Earthquake again and I Focus Blast, I feel like a dum-dum. So, But if he killed the Heatran, that'd be huge. I'm going to... I'm gonna No, because he clicks the U-turn. Goes on Heatran. Oh, it barely lives. It barely lives. We'll click Focus Blast again. 
I'm surprised that that didn't kill. Now the thing is, I really want this to kill, to us uh, to us at speed, because if he gets up rocks, that means Claydol might have to spend a turn, rapid spinning, and I don't want that. The heat, the Pissimian looks like Scarf, which means that Heracross can wall it. Heracross can wall the Pissimian, so Heracross needs to be alive to wall that Pissimian, to at least take it on. So we'll see what happens. This game's really, really good. We did love this. <sighs> it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. We do land that one, so you know what? I can't be too upset. He goes in a Pissimian there, here though, and he gets a kill. He goes in a... Absolutely. Um... I have to click Focus Blast. I need to let this thing die now. It has to die. It has to die. Let's knock off, we die. I'm actually, I was thinking actually we might live for a second. Now, do we go to Weavile or do we go to Coco? I think we go to Coco because we U turn. Does U turn kill Absol? No, it definitely doesn't kill Absol, but it do about 70%. Yeah, it doesn't taunt. Um, thing is, though, the wild charge would kill. Though I go on a Coco right here, and I just basically try to snag a kill. The best thing that could happen for me right now is if he lets his abs all go down and just gets off sucker punch damage. <laughs> I think, I think that's the best. Because at that point, Heracross would clean up the last two months. Heracross walls. Simeon and it walls. Okay, he does fuck that. He is going to Miltank, which will die to two, I think. Uh, fucking never mind. Jesus. Um, do we take from 34%? Do we take a sucker punch? If he's jolly, yes. If he's adamant, yes. So I'm going to use him. And I think I go into. I was going to play it off. It's a completely reasonable play, but I think I'm going to care about Right, so we basically we kill another man now. I think, well, actually, no, he's not Chapel Berry, so this thing will absolutely die to a choice banded Heracross's close combat. Uh, so something dies right here, we get a kill. So, okay, that's another one gone. Uh, I hope, I really wish Simeon would die, because that thing is a little bit scary, but Heracross does wall it, so I can't be crazy about it. Uh, close combat does kill this thing, okay. So, this is where it gets a little bit tense, because this Mega Absol is starting to scare the shit out of me. We definitely let Claydol die, correct? If he Swords Dances, we lose. I think I just let Coco go down. Correct? No, we let Claydol go down. If he Swords Dances right here, uh, good game. He can get me. He clicks player off and misses. Okay, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, I mean, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click Rapid Spin, but he just killed me. Uh, and we do live. Uh, we do live a sucker punch from that range, so I click wild charge, and Weavile should be able to 1v1 this Absol. So wild charge. If he swaps in a Pissimian, it will die. I think. I fucking hope so. Um, I could click Brave Bird, but if he just stays in and sucker punches, we will live. He, le he leaves again. Let me just make sure I'm not Kelk. I'm pretty sure I'm fucking correct. Yes, it does 33.8 max. It would do 93, did it say? 93, 94. Actually, okay, so he needs a high roll. He needs an adamant high roll to kill me. He needs to be adamant and he needs to get a high roll. So please. Please, please, please. <laughs> fucking flies in my face. Fucking dickheads. Um. He can't kill me. He's, he needs a high roll with an adamant nature to kill me. And if he does get it, I think he wins. So, it comes down to this. It 
comes down to this. If you click Sucker Punch, uh, and we live, we win. Absolutely. 100%. Because Heracross could take on the Pissimian. And we even have... We do live! And there it is! That is the game, because Pissimian cannot lose to... Or beat, I believe. I'm not going to say anything, actually. Actually, he could still win, if he has the right move. But I don't know what he'd use to hit me. Uh, close combat should actually sh close combat should put him in range of an ice shard from Weeba, is what I'm, I'm I'm thinking, but he shouldn't be able to kill me because he is choice scarf. We know that if he's choice banded from from you know whatever reason he said GG though. He clicks Iron Head, he gets a crit, and he gets the flinch. <sighs> that's the uh, that's the story of my season. So we lose to Zach because we get flinched on the final turn. I click Ice Shared on the off chance, it won't kill. So that's that's the game. I feel... I'm so glad this, this season's over because it's just been this all season. It's just been this all season. Good game to Zach. I feel pissed off because I deserve to be. Um, uh, we had that game guaranteed because obviously Heracross lived and it just got flinched. Uh, he did the right thing. He clicked Iron Head and he opened the flinch. And he got it. So, no, he didn't deserve it. But, I mean, it's a 30% chance, so what can you do? I feel like we outplayed him most turns. Most turns, we, we made a play on him. And uh, he just gets the flinch on the last turn. So, you know what? We still have never beaten Zack on a game that I feel like we, all, we definitely did, as long as one thing didn't happen. Uh, I doubt the crit mattered because, well, the crit might have kept us out of range, depending. So if you got a, if you got a high roll crit, it mattered. So we do lose to Zach. Um, I'm going to upload this game because I played really, really well, I think. And, uh, you know, it's the last game of the season. So good game to Zach. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll return the next season to the Elysian League, the Elysian League because I don't really enjoy... Uh, I just don't... It's not the people in the league are bad, it's just the, the the league is just it's it's not really it for me. There's no Yeah, I don't know. Um I wanna continue in the PCL because there are a lot of great people in there and I've been enjoying the hell out of it and the elite is really, really cool as well. The reason that I'm leaving this league is simply because um it's just kind of I just kind of play games, and I don't really interact with people that much, and that's what I want from leaks. Um, so, game to Zach. Um, that's it for the game, guys. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to have you spam the like button down below first, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next season of the PCL and the Elite, but uh, this is my final game in the Elysian League, so uh, thank you for watching. That being said, I have a wonderful day, and bye-bye.